The loss of four senior starters, including 1600 point scorer Talia Brugler, might make it seem like Nazareth would be in a rebuilding year. Well, the Blue Eagles don't see it quite like that at all. You know, we keep preaching that, you know, transition does never, never leaves. Uh, seniors leave and we just keep going and uh, lost a bunch of good seniors, good kids, good players. Uh, but we have a lot of good players in our room. Uh, a lot of talented athletes, so we expect to be playing for championships at the end of the year, just like the last couple years, and hopefully it'll work out. We obviously lost a lot coming off last year, losing almost our whole entire varsity squad. Um, but the girls coming up have worked. They've been practicing with us all last, the past two years, actually. And they've just kept developing, and they're fitting right into our mix. They're just filling in those spots that we lost the people. And I'm actually really excited for this season. Like, I think we can do some pretty great things. After back-to-back -back seasons of winning district goals, and making runs in the state tournament. The Blue Eagles, however, do lose some impactful players from those teams, but will now look to a younger group who has been patiently awaiting their turn and is eager to get some gold for themselves. Definitely. I know at the beginning of the year, I actually sent out a text message and I was like, you guys saw what it's like. I was like, there's no better feeling than getting awarded that district championship trophy after you know all your hard work has paid off. And these younger players, they were along the ride the whole way. They came to every single game. They were there for us. They practiced hard with us all the time. So they kind of got a feeling of it. But for them to do it for themselves, they'll see how awesome it actually is. So. We're looking forward to it. Yeah, I mean, we've been a successful group for several years now, and all of our younger players have been supporting us um, before they were on the court with us, and now they're eager to join in because they want to be part of that success. And they've been on the bus with us. They've been on the sideline supporting us from behind our backs, and they're just ready to be a part of it, and they're really showing that in practice. They're putting all their effort in on offense and defense, and we're, it's really coming together. And their biggest threat actually remains the same as it did a year ago team chemistry, while also providing a well-rounded and balanced attack. Well, I think we got a little bit of everything, but I know one thing for us is our team chemistry. Um, even though we lost all those people, I feel as throughout this summer, like we've been really clicking really well together and we've just all been having a great time with it. So I think that's one thing that'll really help us. I think it's just our chemistry together. We all work together so well and we all add different things as I said before so our chemistry on and off the court I think that's our biggest strength this year. On the scene in Nazareth reporting for the Service Electric Network I'm Cassie Schmidt.